down-footed geckos. It's been two years since I started my gecko speculative biology project specota. Thanks for your support. Here's a story based on a late 2019 concept. This concept may not work and I'll say why at the end. Light bombarded the desert, heat engulfed the air. The sand burned a warm hue, but a gecko walked across this sand, equipped for the challenge of the hot sand. This gecko's ancestors had tiny branched hair-like structures called setae on its toe pads. When this newer gecko's ancestors moved on to the hot sand, the geckos were active during the day when the sand may have been hotter and lived in a scorching region. The geckos were active during the day as to not compete with other geckos. Like Namib sand geckos, the geckos had webbed feet which helped with digging and not sinking into the sand. Because the geckos were exposed to hotter sand, the setae actually enlarged, becoming insulating structures. The structures were an insulating white and may also have prevented the geckos from leaving tracks. The setae may have retained its branch structure and ended up looking like birds insulating down. Why this may not work? I think clogging due to sand may stop the setae from trapping air, assuming setae can trap air. And this is why the concept may not work. The angle of the setae may also affect the trapping of air. I don't know if down is the optimum insulator, and also the gecko setae may be good enough without looking exactly like down. Thanks for looking. I'm still happy with this concept. And hopefully you enjoyed the concept. Thanks.